I know it's painful. Oh my gosh, stop it. Panda Sama is the greatest mod creator. So we're on season two, episode 19 of our Cry Baby Whim. Blossom is here doing some breathing exercises because she's actually in labor. <laughs> so she is getting close to giving birth to this baby boy. Peter is here freaking out a little bit. Oh, whoa, I think they're kissing. <laughs> oh my goodness, look, they're kissing in the air. <laughs> Okay, all right, you two. Um, are you okay? I don't know. <laughs> so, but yeah, the kids are in bed. It's late at night. Blossom actually has been in labor for a little while, but she's just been laboring at home. I do think we're going to start our home birth. So, you know, she is slowly but surely, hopefully becoming dilated. And I do have the birth pillow here so that she will be able to give birth at home when she's ready. But I'm going to have her sleep for a little bit because she's really tired and Peter's really tired. And as we know with the Panda Sama mod, the births, they can take a long time. So it says here, Blossom is going into labor. Prepare for her home birth by purchasing a birth pool or birth pillows. Activities such as the breathing exercise, taking a bath, or exercising on the birth ball will help her manage contraction pains and speed up dilation. So we can definitely do some of those things, but for now, we're just going to have them sleep because... Oh, no. Am I having the tooth glitch? Did he lose a tooth? Yeah, he did. Okay, hang on a second here. I'm going to have to restart the game. Yeah, so it's actually, I think, the kid's first day of school as a child, is it? I think it might be. And I guess I didn't really show you their makeovers, but here is Miss Ivy. You know, she's looking pretty cute. I gave her, you know, slightly longer hair. I think her hair is fairly straight. And I gave her little bangs. She must have, I think she had bangs before. And then for Oak, who I guess I'll have to show you when he comes back home, his full makeover. For him, I like his hair looked kind of like, you know, his mom was not cutting it. So I wanted it to continue like that. So that's why his hair is looking a little bit grown out. So and then Ivy is in labor, but um, she's mopping. I did set up the nursery for the new baby. So I don't think you all saw this. So we've got like a crib here. I moved all of the toddler toys that were in the kids rooms into this bedroom because this baby will end up using it. So it's all ready for when the baby ages up into an infant. And I moved some of the art over and stuff like that too. And then of course, like I think we did this together, didn't we? Where we ended up making the kids' bedrooms like a little bit older for them from their toddler rooms. But the one thing I had to do off camera was uh, Oak was not able to get into his bed with that tent there. And I tried to move the room around a little bit and I couldn't get it to work. So I ended up selling the tent and I moved his desk and I got him this little science station instead. So they're, oops, I mean to do that. They're going to be at school while Ivy and Peter are trying to give birth to baby number three. Poor Blossom struggling here. I don't know how long she's going to be in labor for. Like we haven't called a midwife or anything because we don't have money. And midwives actually cost money with this mod. So, oh, tissue paper flowers. In celebration of Love Day, Ivy's class made tissue paper flowers. The teacher asked all of the students to give their flowers away to someone special. Now Ivy just needs to think of the right person. I think Ivy's going to keep the flowers for herself. Ivy mulled over who to give her tissue paper flowers to, but the answer was easy, herself. Ivy strutted off flowers in hand. That was until the wind plucked them free and stole them. The bright flowers drifted in the wind's current until they were little specks on the horizon, never to be seen again. So we did take a little bit of a look ahead to Gen 3, and we have decided that Ivy is our Gen 3 heir. Ivy is going to end up at some point getting the evil trait. She's going to take after Peter's like alter ego resurrected self and admire that he's a criminal and she's going to want to be bigger and better than he is. So, and we know that Ivy, you know, she has had her challenges growing up. So she has been taking that out, you know, in, in different ways. And so I think, I definitely think that she would be like, absolutely not. I am definitely going to keep these flowers to myself. I put the work in, like they're mine, like no one else deserves these. Anyways, we're swaying. We're going to give birth. Oh, she's drinking a bubbly drink. I feel like a bubbly drink would not be a good thing to have when you're in labor. No, wouldn't that upset your tummy? How am I going to know when it's time to give birth? Not fully dilated. I think it will just tell me 
that I can. I'm going to have her come do some more breathing exercises and sleep. And then for Peter, I guess we'll just like clean up some of this other stuff. Maybe he needs to come and check on the garden out here actually as well. I'm going to keep one of the tool. Actually, let's just put all the flowers in here. And then I'm going to give flowers for everyone to give each other for uh, love day so that everyone completes like some of the actions. So I think Peter will give Blossom a tulip. I think she might give her kids death flowers, you know, because it's for their protection. But here's little Oak. Hang on, let me just pause for a second so you can get a look at him as a child. But there he is. He's looking cute as well. I just gave him some like really cute casual clothes. So yeah, he still got his like bright blue eyes that he had when he was a kid and a toddler, an infant and a toddler. And then for Ivy, she's got like her green eyes. Oh my gosh, look at her face. <laughs> she's so annoyed from her school day. So she's come home with a school product project. And for Ivy, she actually should not be doing any homework. So I deleted her homework right away. I'm going to delete that school project. Ivy is not supposed to get good grades as part of her gen. And I actually think that that's kind of fun because I don't know, I automatically always give my Sims good grades. Like it's just automatic and it's not realistic. You know, not everybody gets straight A's. And then I see here that Ivy needs a doctor's visit. Are we able to give birth yet? Because I kind of feel like maybe we shouldn't actually leave the house. No, she's not. Okay. We, they probably have time to go to the doctor. So I'm going to go in here, healthcare services, and we will go to the doctor. And she can go with her dad because Blossom is in labor. So let's go take a bath because I think that is supposed to help with getting us dilated. So she's going to go upstairs and do that. How is he feeling? Around intimates from being shy. Oh, space stars from field trip to the planetarium. The planetarium was awesome. It was amazing how much Oak learned. Oh, so cute, Oak. <laughs> Look, and he's cleaning up. Oh, my gosh. Oak is such a sweetie. Look, that's so cute. That's exactly what that's for, Oak. So cute that he knows that that's his desk. I think I'll move this light over next to his desk so he has a, a light for his desk. Or maybe I'll give him a little desk lamp. I, I remember now I turned off the overhead lights in their rooms because I just thought they were too bright for like a cottage because cottages are kind of like dark, you know, so they definitely have them. But I tried to make the light a little bit cozier and then I actually colored their night light. So like obviously his night light is blue, so it has like a blue glow. And then for Ivy's, she actually has a black night light, but I didn't want to give it a black glow. So I gave it a little bit of like an orangey red glow. Ivy has been diagnosed with chronic eczema. She will need to learn to manage stress through exercise or meditation as well as healthy eating. Ivy can grab creams from the pharmacy or order them online. This will help when needed to reduce itchiness and discomfort. Okay. I mean, eczema, that's not good because that can be very uncomfortable, but it's good to know what she has. And then what is this? Caught in the act. Yikes. It's never fun to get caught doing things you know you shouldn't from being caught by school staff. And she needs video games. So yeah, I, Ivy is a little bit of a gamer. So I do have a, a little game tablet with her. So I'm going to have her play Void Critter Go. She can do that instead of doing her homework. Play Vo Void Critter Go. Virtual Void Critters are all around on the world around you. Click anywhere. Oh, okay. I see. So we can go like this to check for them. So it's like Pokemon Go. This is what you can do at the Festival of Youth. But I have this. I think it's by Ravishin. It's called a Void Critter Gaming Tablet. And so instead of having to use like that big giant thing that you can't fit into any of your Sims houses, they could use this tablet to like trade Void Critters and battle them and they can play Void Critter Go, which it looks like it's basically the functionality of what you can do at the Festival of Youth. What does she want? What is this? Give gifts. Ivy loves this tradition and give flowers. So I'm going to make sure that the kids have flowers in their inventory so they could maybe give those to each other. So her favorite color is red. So I think it'd be nice if Oak gave her a red flower and then she can give him like a yellow flower because he's wearing yellow. And then I want her to give the death flowers to the kids. So she's doing this for her own peace of mind because if they have a death flower in their inventory, they can give that to Grim if something were to happen and if they were to die. So with her experience with Peter, she wants to take every precaution possible after leaving Peter so early and having worked so hard to bring him back to life. So she wants to make sure everyone in the family has one. I'm going to have Ivy come over here and play some video games. 
Video games on a gaming console. Oh, she wants a gaming console. Okay. We're going to have to save up for that. We don't really have the money for it. Yeah. So she aged up with the geek traits. So I could totally see that like if her parents are not paying attention, Ivy like definitely stays up late gaming. I think that's what she's doing right now. So yeah, she might not get a lot of sleep, which could also be why she doesn't perform well in school because as part of the better schools mod, I actually can make her sleep in class. Ivy's sneaking up to bed since her mom was getting up. She doesn't want her mom to know that she was, you know, playing games all night instead of sleeping. Whereas Oak's a good boy. And after doing the laundry for his family, he went straight to bed. <laughs> it's still pretty early. So the kids don't need to get up if they don't want to. Peter's just over here talking to the plants, of course, as one does. Are these two going to be romantic with each other? Blossom's like, I don't know, Peter. I'm really not feeling well. <laughs> I really need this baby out. Let's have them sway a little bit. Are we ready yet to give birth? Oh my gosh, we can give birth. Okay, perfect. Oh, right as the kids are getting up and getting ready for school, we're going to be having the baby. She does have Peter as her birth partner, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, they're going to do one last sway. Really, really excited to see what this baby is like. I especially love because like Ivy and Oak are so different from each other. So I'm kind of excited. <laughs> I at first I know I was a little hesitant about having another baby, but I I have opened my mind to it now. I've accepted it and I'm actually excited to see what this baby is like. I want Blossom to be comfortable. So she does if she needs to pee, she can go for pee and then we will go give birth to this baby. She's like, okay, Peter, it's time. This is, baby's coming. Get in position. Oh, look, he got into his bathing suit. He's like, well, I don't want to get any of my nice clothes dirty. So I'm just going to wear my bathing suit if that's OK. What is she going to wear? She's in her bathing suit, too. OK. Oh, no, she's in her underwear. OK, that makes more sense. <gasps> Here we go. She's about to give birth. Oh, look at Peter being so sweet. Wait, I might need to take more photos. I'm sorry. It's just you don't get to see this too often, you know, it's only. Well, I mean, some. We actually do give birth a lot, I find. We've had a lot of babies. But it, I still, I want to take my photos. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh, come on, Blossom. You can do it. I know it's not, I know it's painful. Oh my gosh, stop it. Panda Sama is the greatest mod creator. This mod, I love it so much. Here we go. I think the baby's coming. Oh my gosh. Like these animations. It's like, oh my God, this is so painful. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. The baby is here. It's a baby boy. We did have a name suggestion from Lynn and I loved it. And I love it with the last name as well. So our new baby is going to be Little Forest Greenwood. Here he comes. <gasps> baby is born. Blossom and Peter had a baby. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, wow. There he is. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at this. He's like, oh, how precious. Look at them looking at him. Peter's like, I'm so glad that he didn't inherit any scars. <laughs> All right, here is the baby. Um, let's move it into its bassinet. Now the baby is like ghostly white, which I believe Ivy was when she was born. But that didn't end up actually being her true skin tone. So I don't think that this is the baby's real skin tone. And she also had the pointy ears as well. So, but it looks like he has brown eyes. Oh, he got Blossom's brown eyes. Oh, that's so cute. So anyways, please pretend the baby does not look like this. I'm, I'm sure that he got, probably he'll have a similar skin tone maybe to Ivy. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see when he ages up. But let's go find out what's wrong with the little baby. And how is she feeling cringing from a social bunny post? <gasps> Ivy and Oak are jokesters. Oh, sure. They can be jokesters. Look, the kids haven't even gone to school yet. That's how quickly we gave birth. Like, they were just getting themselves up and ready for school when we started pushing. And the baby is now here. Oh, I wonder if they should come and meet their sibling. Somehow, Blossom is working. Okay, for Ivy, because she's so tired, she's going to sleep during class. <laughs> We're raising a rebel, okay? <laughs> and then Oak, because he's perfect, he's going to actively participate. So yeah, these twins are going to be very, very opposite. Peter's over here dancing the stress away. I'm sure that that was a very stressful experience. So, you know, whatever you need to do to cope with the stress. But I do think that he should come and maybe bond a little bit with the baby. And Blossom is going to sleep because I'm sure she's exhausted. 
there. We'll put the baby down. We're going to head to bed. And then you can come over here and say hello to baby Forrest. He's all set for his work because he had to do mischief interactions and we already did those. So um, he'll probably, what time does he leave for work? 8 p.m. So he's fine as long as he's in a good mood. So he'll probably need to go to bed like maybe early afternoon so that, or like mid-afternoon so that he gets enough rest for his work day. But other than that, like he should be good to maybe even get a promotion. And I do want to try and to get him to work through these like lower levels of the criminal career very quickly. I kind of wish he could jump in at a higher level. I think it would be more realistic because he was very high up in the bi biology career because I kind of was talking about how like how can we sort of overlap Peter's history with his current reality of wanting you know of joining the criminal career and stuff I do think that biology somehow needs to be involved so we were talking about maybe he's like working in like substances and pharmaceuticals maybe even and he's been experimenting a little bit. And maybe because Blossom, again, she was able to create a dish, a food dish that brought him back to life. So maybe he started experimenting as well. And he's going to try and create like different drugs and things like that that can do all of these miraculous things for people. But maybe they're quite dangerous at the same time. Or maybe there's like really severe side effects. As we know, there was side effects for Peter. He came back with an evil personality and a new look. Again, maybe these drugs that he's carrying are not exactly above board. They're not exactly safe, which is why they're illegal. But he ends up building a bit of a criminal empire off of them. So that is my headcanon of why Peter is in the criminal career. I think that's what makes the most sense. So for me, like, I don't see him as being a petty thief or anything. Like, I don't see him as being in these lower levels of the criminal career. I see him as, like, maybe making connections. Maybe he has to do a little bit of grunt work to make the connections to be able to, you know, sell his experimental drugs and stuff like that. So, okay, maybe it does make a little bit of sense. But I do want him to move through these parts of the career very quickly so that we can get to the top a little bit sooner. He also grew the cow plant because he liked to experiment and he liked biology and stuff like that. So... Peter has a lot of skill and he has a lot to offer whatever he chooses to do. And since this is what he's choosing to do, I do think that he would become successful fairly quickly. So yeah, that's the story with Peter. I almost wish that I had like a potion making station like this for adults. <laughs> I think you had that in Sims 1, but we don't have it in Sims 4. All right, kids are home from school. Is this who she and Oh my gosh, this is their cousin. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is Chester, their cousin. I am going to try to <laughs> help some of our extended family because they're struggling. <laughs> so here is Chester made over. I think he's looking pretty cool. He's a pretty cool kid. I like him. I definitely see Ashton in him. Like he's definitely got Ashton's eyes and I think also Ashton's mouth. So, but his head shape is definitely different from Arsim's family. So he must have gotten that from his mom. So Ivy was the one that brought him home. So I want to make sure that she like actually plays with him. School art show. Oh, there's an art show at school tomorrow. Do you want a participant? Participants receive a performance. Oh my gosh. Yes, he does. <gasps> he better get started on some art if he's going to be in an art show. So let's go draw. And then Blossom still needs to gift this flower arrangement as part of her job. Oh, one of them is a masterpiece. Excellent. This one is poor. So let's list the nice one on Plopsy and then we'll give the poor one away is what we'll do. Let's invite Timothy over. We can introduce him to our newest baby and then we'll also gift him the, the flowers while he's here. Maybe he would even come and help us out a little bit. And we can also post about our new baby. Let's do confidence. I'm a proud mama. Is my baby the cutest baby in the world? You better believe it. <laughs> Aw, cute. I think she's feeling much more confident. I think she's much more excited for this pregnancy because while it was difficult with the twins as infants, raising them alone with everything she was going through, I think she feels much better now that she's not doing it alone and Peter is here. And she's confident now because not only has he come back to life, but he also has his death flower. So she's confident that, you know, the in, the cow, great cow plant incident will not happen again. It will not repeat itself at this point. So. Let's give a flower arrangement once 
Boris ages up into an infant, maybe we'll throw like an engagement party. It might not be very, I guess, convenient to have a wedding, like a big wedding, because we don't know who would actually be able to make it in. Plus, you know, they're not doing the best with money right now. Oh my gosh, he doesn't know his grandfather. <gasps> does she not know her grandfather either? Oh my gosh, she doesn't. <gasps> Cadence has spread some juicy gossip about Oak. Why is it with Blossom's siblings gossiping about her own children to her? Oh my gosh, Ivy is not getting along with Timothy. <laughs> Aw, look at how sweet. Peter's coming to take care of Forrest while Ivy is in the shower. And he's feeling loyal, which is making him feel confident. But he's going to be leaving for work in the next hour, I think. So I actually think that this is where we're going to leave the episode for today. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing little Forrest be born. Next time we play, Forrest will be an infant. Babies are only babies for one day in my game. So his birthday is probably going to be tomorrow. And um, hopefully Peter will come home from his night shift tonight with a promotion. That's what I'm hoping for at least. So yeah, if you're on YouTube, please like the video if you're enjoying the series. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And <laughs> I will see you all next time. Bye. Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right